After getting the critical portions of the base upgraded to stainless steel last night and into this morning, we're one step closer to finishing the base. With the hours remaining before the Demon King sends his fifth Horde wave, we'll look to finish off some construction and set up a few more traps. And after the Horde, assuming all goes well, we'll get everything repaired and touched up before I call in my painters to get this place all gussied up. So, let's get to work. Okay, to start off with then, a little bit of crafting. Gotta get a new coil carbine and some turrets. Let's get a couple of coil carbine barrels. A motion sensor. 152 bundles of coil batteries. Two Mark II auto turrets. Coil carbine receiver. A new coil carbine. Go ahead and get two more motion sensors. New mods onto the new coil carbine. And a stash away the M4. We're done with that. I guess I can get a mag extender and a drum mag on the same weapon. <laughs> Not gonna ask any questions here. And that will net me 82 rounds per magazine. We'll get a shotgun turret. Get another coil carbine here just for funsies. Another SMG turret. Okay, I've unpacked all of the coil batteries that I made. And now I'm gonna make some AP762 coil rounds. As many as I can get. That'll be well into tomorrow. Held back by the armor piercing tips. So start on that and immediately afterward start working on the regular 762 I think. Just because we have the bullet casings, we have the gunpowder, we have the regular bullet tips and there's nothing else that I want to use that on except for probably the Mark II turrets from now on. So we'll get a couple thousand of those for the next three days. The metal workbench is off limits. And that should be just about good. I do have a backup generator or an extra generator I should say. So I'm going to take this one up. This is just the, the old battery bank which is powering the lights right now. But seeing as how we're adding turrets and such, we're gonna need more power. So juice this up with six extra generators, refuel up to 6,000, turn on, and then we'll juice this one up as well. This is the first time I've refueled this since I set it down, so it should be good for another couple weeks. And then, gotta figure out what's going on here. Okay, so... <laughs> Lights are there, and if I just hook this up to, uh, this is, this is, oh, I think this is turrets here. <laughs> I can't get the paintbrush back out. And this is, that, okay, that would be electric fences, that would be blade traps on the roof. Okay, I think for now that's good. As long as turrets are off of this line here, this generator, then I think we're all set. All right, let's first go to the rooftop and see if we can set up a couple more turrets up here. I don't think that the shotguns are gonna work in the other place where I want to put them. So for now, let's just go, let's just get all these down here and... Right, I think I'll just do basically shotguns and SMGs on the rooftop for now. And then we'll switch all of these over to like coil rifle turrets eventually because that's what we're, we're gonna need to take out the flying demons. But just for like bird cover and for like our perhaps first encounter with airborne demons, I think this will hold them off. No guarantees and we're not doing the whole daisy chain thing, so I gotta go down here and grab a couple lines. In fact, can I... Ow. Oh, yeah, I thought that would come in handy someday. Not quite yet. Okay, everything's hooked up. Gotta get some bullets and also need to replenish the others. Okay, the shotguns don't seem to go off very often, probably because the SMGs have such better range that uh, nothing really is able to close the distance yet. But okay, shotgun, 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 and yeah, I was kind of hoping that, like, the next time we get a big influx of shotgun shells, I'm gonna start unpacking these to get the buckshot. I actually, I scrapped all of my buckshot before into lead so that I'd have lead for, like, the coil batteries and such, but I do think that was... Not the best uh, way to go about it, because look, I have four skill points here, and I'm gonna go into, what was it, scientist? Four skill points, let's just go right straight to rocket man. So we're gonna have to start producing rocket frags, and rocket frags require buckshot. Airdrop in, oh, I was gonna say in the river here, but no, it's on this little island, so... It's no problem. We'll pick it up with the helicopter our next time through there. It's not going to have anything critical for us at this point unless it has, you know, a couple thousand armor piercing tips or something, you know. The other great thing I just thought of about having the coil, getting the coil turrets up here at some point is that the, the ammo stacks to 600 instead of 300. So you can put a lot more ammo into these and kind of, you know, set it and forget it for at least one horde night. All right, I'm gonna use this reinforced chest up here to deposit a little bit of ammo. Hopefully that'll stay there. As for these 
Mark II turrets. These take the 762 ammo type, and what we're gonna have to do is we'll, we'll get that patched up there soon. But uh, I want to put it on this little shelf here. I suppose just you know temporarily I'll put a ladder system here. The the zombies are gonna cut their way in here. They they pretty much always do. So I don't want to go overboard here. Just gonna put two turrets down. Two turrets would be really easy to replace. Why is that floating? I guess we have some floating turrets here. <laughs> well, good thing we're not going to see it very often. Those as well should be replaced with coil guns eventually, but uh, like I said, just kind of testing things out right now. Th those are cheap. They're not difficult to make, so not a huge loss if we lose them. And it should give us a way to burn through a little bit of 762, although I don't suspect these are going to last long. All hooked up here. Just pull that ladder. I think we're all good up there. And yeah, we'll just head up there next time after the horde and see how that all performed. I'm gonna try and level up as much as possible this time around because there's no guarantee that we're gonna be able to get things like the master scientist anytime soon. So basically, when it comes to master scientist, I'm going to probably spend skill points to unlock this. It's the most important mastery, if you ask me. It's gonna give us access to the anti-rad meds, and it should give us access to the level 71 spears, so I can get this uh, titanium spear recrafted. All right, let's see how fast I can produce some forged iron. I need about a hundred of it. That's not gonna take long at all, because I wanna come over to the workbench now and create, uh, we're gonna get two of these seven by four roll-up doors. It's gonna take quite a while, so we'll set those up probably tomorrow. All right, there, yeah, we've got plenty of forged iron right there so one more of those and i'll show you where those are gonna go so we have this is like the fire truck garage area i mean all of these bays are for vehicles but uh, none of them have functional doors right now and i i'm thinking about either opening it all up opening all the doors or sealing it all up and then i'll also i'm gonna turn this into a seven by four door here and then the same thing over here and so this will be like our main parking area and we'll do some things to dress it up like that and we'll see what the the clearance looks like because i like the look of this beam here but it might be too low it's only a three block area down here all right so the titanium auger ought to be able to rip right through this bulletproof glass here no big deal and i'm thinking that we'll probably like leave the doors open for horde night if i remember to do that because i don't want the zombies to just try to break in because they're always trying to break in here and i'm just like i'm done with it you know and it's starting to look like the the beam in there that i was talking about that will have to go because the seven by four door is four blocks tall and so you know it'll just look weird to have a beam coming off of it all right so there you have it right there looking pretty wide open there was a little plug that was right there so we'll fill that in and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Perfect. This here, though, we can't have a garage opening up into a, you know, muddy dirt plot here. So tear this up. And yep, I think we'll just replace it with regular old cubes. Just seeing an opportunity here, though. I always want to build out of these blocks, but it's so difficult to do so, like, in the moment. So... Can I just copy that and we'll see if I can get this oriented around? Because this would look perfect right there, I think, wouldn't it? And then we can paint that the same way and kind of enclose this, which also makes me think, wouldn't it look good if I did the whole thing straight across? So there was like um, like a red hazard check mark kind of thing that went across. Nah, I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> Maybe another time. Um... But yeah, like little things like this, it just adds a lot to it. But it's just, it's so much work to like plan out where you're going to put those and such. Okay, looking very, very open now though. But that's fine. That's kind of what we want for Horde Night. We want the zombies to kind of path through here freely. And I think I'll also... What what do you suppose was going on here before? Was there like a window here at some point? Or, or should a window go in here? It looks like it's a centered block, so... If I grab up a centered window, is that going to look all right? We've got these store windows here. Man, I wish I could do the bulletproof glass, you know, the good bulletproof glass, like the ones that look like this, the one that looked like this here. Maybe I'll look into, because, you know, I want it to be bulletproof. I want it to be strong. So uh, how would I go about making bulletproof glass blocks? Okay, it's made in the advanced forge, looks like, with a just a smattering of odd resources which I've immediately forgotten. It's like I can make a few of these though. How many? 21? I think I needed, what was it, six down there? 
and that'll be done like instantaneously there we go all right these ones aren't the worst uh, i can live with these i think just uh yep one two three four five six that'll do i love how there's the ladder kind of well floating a little bit but you know suspended we'll say hanging off the <laughs> the roof area here it looks like this one is a little bit shorter that had to be cut off for the garage door which is oh this one's open i see interesting makes me wonder what can we do for doors again three by threes we've got the steel garage three by three power doors which would mean they would go sort of in like that um so i'd have to kind of rip off the top there and and do something different what would that look like from out here mm, yeah it doable i think Maybe we'll plan on doing that. No oh boy, that's just gonna require a whole lot of shredding of this bulletproof glass. Pretty sure this is like really noisy activity too, so be on the lookout for screamers for sure. It's one screamer down. Try to sneak down while I'm doing this as much as I can for what good that'll do me. Okay, that project is done. We're, well, almost done. We're just about ready to put the doors in. I'll just get them crafted up. We gotta get ready for the horde right now though, and I also gotta figure out like what's this shape situation going on here i think for now we can securely put these in and oh it's um oh they're all kind of shifted around and, and weird but that's okay okay we'll work more on that project in the morning for now though it's time to prepare for the horde okay i think that'll just about do it let's review here coil carbine black sky rocket launcher we've got power-ups we've got first aid explosives concrete blocks repair materials and the laser multi-tool I think that's just about going to do it. Make sure the doors are shut. Make sure the generators are on. All right, seal me in here. We are going to close doors on the flanks. We're open in the middle. We're gonna turn blade traps on, electric fences on, and turrets on. Check the power draw. We're at 91, we're at 160. We have plenty of power. All right, my friends, the hour is late and our fifth horde is fast approaching. So ring the bell, say a prayer, and lock and load. And as darkness falls, we pray for courage and protection in the face of our enemy. We are the order of steel and we fear no evil. For we live in the valley of the shadow of death and evil will fear us. <laughs> <laughs> the sands of time slip swiftly through your fingers. The hour of reckoning is near. <laughs> All right, things are going pretty good here so far. I'm taking quite a beating because Mostly, I'm just not paying attention to when people are shooting at me, but nothing that a little bit of first aid can't handle. All right, I've just switched over to the AP762 here because we are about to hit midnight and I'm expecting potentially a stronger wave. Man, those Mark II turrets are doing some work down there, aren't they? Yeah, it's been pretty light stuff up here so far. Mostly rads, haven't seen any sort of special type of a zombie except for some mutated cops, which really, you know, shoot them a few times and they're done. We're now into the second wave. See what that has in store for us. I see some feral whites. I see some uh, mutated nurses. Those are new. Some football players. Oh, we got a behemoth. The female behemoth, aka the behemoth. And we've got night stalkers. Okay, so good thing we are over into the AP762. I have a tuna fish gravy toast that I have no idea what that does for me. So while I have a lull here, that is a skull crusher, increased melee damage. I should have had that active for the beginning of the battle here because melee is not going to do much of it against the big guys, even if it's plus 50%. What I do have that'll help is a recog. That should give me a little bit of extra bonus here. What is the bonus? It is two minutes of plus 40% range damage, and now we have bears here. All right. Oh my god, yes, we have more monsters here now. We, oh my god. Okay, we have, we have titans. We have, uh, what are the spiders called? Are they just spiders? The mutant spiders? Oh my god. And the behemoth is back. Knock her down. And here is where, hopefully, our points into demolitions expert will start coming in handy. Let it rip down there. There we go. That's working a little bit. Even the contact grenades, though, really don't have much on the big guys like the titans. 
Yep, probably just best to focus on whoever's in front of me right here and uh, light them up with the coil carbine. Here we go, Titan. Was that my first Titan kill right there? Yep, this is how it's gonna end right here, or this is how the rest of the night's gonna go. Just shooting straight ahead here with the AP762, and then if there's ever a lull, come straight over and send a rocket for him. Okay, let's do a quick repair checkup here. We do need to conduct, oh my God, that takes, that takes a long time to repair that. And that one right there also needs some repair. Uh, just stand back a little bit because that bear can certainly reach through here and take my head off. And a little bit on that one. And I think we're fully topped off up here. I did see an explosion there a minute ago, which made me think that someone, one of these people can shoot fireballs. I don't know who it is just yet though. Well. <laughs> I can shoot back. Take that. I'm running out of these things though, so hold off. Ah, there's another explosion right there and I'm suddenly radiated. I don't know how that all works. Am I on fire or something? I don't know. No, I'm bleeding. All right, pay attention. We got a lot of shooting to do here. Oh, my recog probably has run out by now, so take another. As far as I know, I can't take more than one at a time. It'll make me sick or something. Here we go. I can feel that extra damage now. Just melting right through these guys. Man, those spiders are tough too, aren't they? This is like the meat and potato wave here. <laughs> uh, we are onto a new wave though, it's 2 a.m. So we might get a slight variation of who's attacking us right now. For better or for worse, what are you doing? Get out of here. Oh, it's a, it's a radiated brood mother and a demo zombie going off. Lovely. All things considered though, I do think that things are going okay. I do need to head back real quickly and get the repair kits. The one thing I forgot there. And if I just repair the coil gun there, lost some levels. That's why I made the extra. They're pretty easy and cheap to make. All right, we're back in business here. Let it rip. Oh, I can see some purple out there. They're definitely some purple zombies. Legendary bikers. Really, they are the least of my concern. Not really the least, but they're definitely lower on the list. We have regular behemoths here now. Behemoths, behemoths, demos, brood mothers. The whole gang is here, almost. I haven't seen any true demons yet. Okay, how about we set up a little bit of a trap down here? These pipe bombs don't do a whole lot. So as soon as I feel like I've got a good stack down there, oh, watch out, because if they spit and hit one of these in midair, that'd do quite a bit of damage. How's about that? That got me some XP. All right, back up here. I've leveled up eight times tonight so far. Let's, um, the recog is about to run out. Just pay attention to that. Don't want to waste any. And we'll take another one. We need to have recog in us for the next hour. And then what I'll remember to do next time is we'll have some tuna fish gravy toast for the cleanup. Because as soon as it ticks morning, we got to convert over to melee so that we don't spawn in any screamers. And luckily, all of the turrets have long since run out of ammo. Okay, it is time for another recog. Oh, crap. <laughs> I, I feel like sometimes that I have to stand here and take it, because if I dodge, it's going to go right to the door over there, to the electronic control room. And yeah, there's a lot of crap going on up here in the front. It's really difficult to kind of hold them off. There should be a whole pile of them down there, though. Soften them up with that. I really need to get a better rocket launcher so I can put some more mods on it. We need to put things like rad removers and um, the blessed metal mod on this. Where are all the zombies? Nothing's messed up, is it? No, we're looking good here still. Just kind of cycling back around. Yeah, this this wave here is identical to the one we had before, it looks like. Nope. 
Maybe they're just some more cops. I'm not sure. I do have a couple of these pulse grenades left. Why not use them? Oh, crap. Did you see that? Oh, my God. I almost got hit in midair as I threw that. Because if it blows up in my face, I am a goner. 100% dead. Yeah, here we go. We're inching toward 4 a.m. Still got some recog going. Still got plenty of ammo here. We're doing fine. Just continue shooting. Kill as many of these guys as we can before morning. Okay, officially just turned morning there. And I'm working on my critical dehydration. We're, we were down to zero there for a few seconds. Now, oh, 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 wait, wait. We gotta, we gotta transfer over now. Yeah, we cannot... We can no longer do any shooting no more shooting just stand here and stab i don't care how long it takes this is how it has to be luckily everyone behind the behemoth here <laughs> is getting hit because i got like three target penetration here there we go he fell down finally there we yep see it's working good now if i can just yep angle it up to get the headshots we'll be fine here just a few more minutes oh the behemoths they 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 can tank a lot the titans as well Maybe, maybe we gotta string them out or something. I don't know what the play is from here. The spear just is not strong enough right now. What if I got some assistance from the electric fences here? Would that help at all? Or do we just risk a little bit of gunfire here if we can? That seemed to work well, actually. Okay, we'll, we'll just be very conservative with the bullets. Only using them on the strongest zombies or perhaps ones that get stuck. Okay, the horde appears to be done. See what I mean? That took a little bit of damage there. Everything in here is A-OK -okay still, though. So let's uh, wind everything down, open up the flank doors here. Get some air in here. Jeez, the, the smell of gunpowder or coil battery powder. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's overwhelming. Okay. Yep, see, they like to carve their way into these areas, and I don't really know why. Uh, the, the Mark II turrets are okay, though. Okay, wh why do you guys do this to me? Who's out there? Is that a Titan? Hey, buddy. Oh, boy. All right, I've got him down pretty low. Let's see if I can just melee him. Nice. All right, what's the, uh, the situation down here in the pit? Because I could hear dirt blocks breaking. Oh. So that happened. I think that was a demo. A demo blast or two. I don't think anyone is trapped underneath here, though. Look at the loot bags. It's intense. There is a bear, though. Where is the bear? There he is. He is a couple of them, in fact. They're just kind of stuck over there. Must have broken their legs or something. Another one over here. Well, let's go for a ride, buddy. Let's do this. Come on. Ah! Oh, this, you're making it too easy on me. Here we go. Ride the bear. Got him. The ultimate show of dominance over the uh the mutated zombie animals just take them for a ride okay i already picked up one loot bag there that was good for really nothing i did get this extra skill point i think and uh, let me put everything away and we'll do a quick loot up all right i should have made a meat balinese for this occasion i do have the vegetable balinese i don't know what it does but right now i'm in a hurry before some of these start to disappear I just pick these up i'm sure the loot is going to be great it's going to be fine i'm already getting some good loot out of here we'll go through it in just a minute but then for the next horde night i'll make sure that i have several of those crafted up i'm even thinking about just trying to you know, target, tailor the garden just to make the meat Balinese so that we can use that also when we're out doing POIs. All right, last loot bag here. Many of them were disappearing right before my eyes. Let's just do one more glance and see if I missed any up here. All right, what do we get? Another treasure map and two dynamite. I think that just about does it. Okay, I'm gonna put this all away and then we're immediately going to do repairs this time. Repairs, patching and yeah really no more upgrades they did take out one of my brand new pieces of glass here why would they do that they could just walk right straight through here ah stupid zombies all right so here is a look at a portion of the loot hall some of this was loot like um that i had picked up a couple days ago and never got around to sorting out so we got a generic skill note here a whole bunch of things to scrap over here we've got new armor we've got new weapons but Oh, new rocket launcher. I was just talking about that. That's good. Nothing that we haven't seen before, it looks like, in that one. What about this one? Any legendary items here? I don't see anything. Oh my god, I got a security mastery book. How did that happen? 
I don't really need that. Can I scrap that for anything good, I wonder? We'll find out in just a second. Yep, okay, just titanium armor, regular armor. We'll go through all of that at some point, probably later on today, tonight. Let's see if I scrap that. Oh yeah, 120 of those notes there. So that's, that's pretty cool. Generic skill note, another generic skill note. And I, the last I checked, I had 10. Yeah, I have 14 points available now. I think what I'll do is just go Master Scientist, get it over with. And for the final four points, I'm gonna just rip it off like a band-aid and go ahead and take four points into electric power traps, which will get me down to the coil shotgun turret, the coil carbine turret. One, two, three, four. Done. Deal. Don't have to worry about that anymore. There's also this last one you could take here for the titanium electric fence post and titanium blade traps. I don't know if I'll do that yet or not. It all depends on how the roof situation turns out, which by the way, let's just take a quick peek up here because I didn't seem to hear very much going on at all. So a little bit of ammo was used a little bit there. These were all topped off, only 40 shots out of that one and 34 shots out of that one. The rooftop is secure and probably will remain secure for a while until we get uh, succubus, succubi. And we didn't even lose a block basically up here in the fighting area. We did lose a few blocks down below, so first things first, let's get that all patched up. All right, everything has been put away and more or less organized. We still have to do the whole thing where we like repair everything and get it ready for the trader, but um, let's go ahead and drop these seven by four doors in right about there we will do. Same thing on this side, that'll do. And I have four more doors crafting. We'll do, we're just gonna do these ones cause they'll match better than the other ones, the regular garage doors. Okay, patch that up, need an extra bulletproof glass block. Probably just gonna make some extras cause it's a little tedious going back and forth doing this. All right, here those are. And I was just thinking maybe we replace these with the bulletproof glass at some point as well. I mean, these ones look okay, but then like, any little thing could like break the window, so I don't know. I think I'll probably keep them because that would just be a bit of a tedious chore to like, you know, replace all of those ones so that everything looked the same. Okay, and then what the hell? Why do they keep doing this? I probably should just dig all that soil out and, and completely fill this in, make it completely solid, but um, you know what we could do? that would prevent them from doing this is just fill this in with concrete. I think that's the best idea I've thought of yet. There we go. This ought to deter them or at least slow them down a little bit. And we usually have the same problem in the other tower, but whatever, I'll just repair this one. And if they open it up, I will do the same thing to this side in the future. Maybe we'll just, we'll also do this to steel right here just to slow them down that much more, you know? Okay, quick damage assessment down here. What happened? This all held up remarkably well. I think there were multiple demo blasts down here, but it seemed to, they didn't even get through the first layer on top here. Although this will definitely be one of the first things we upgrade to titanium. Not, I don't want to upgrade too much to titanium because then you have to have a lot of titanium for the upgrades and the repairs. And a little bit of patchwork here and we're pretty much good as new here. Let's just check on yeah, there's some damage that occurred up there. Ramps looking fine. Nothing really happened out here at all. A couple little cracks here and there. I can't fix them all. All right, one little final like patch of repairs here and a few upgrades to steel, I guess. The, you know, the things that have been damaged up here obviously are susceptible, so they will need to be upgraded. Scratch that, I'm out of steel. <laughs> so I guess we'll table the repair job up here. It's It's functional. I mean, this stuff is like less than 10% damaged in most places. And I already conducted the repairs on the critical three blocks out here on the front. So I think we're good. We'll have to do some more iron mining then along the way. Yeah, okay, that'll have to do it. Okay, uh, I need to dump the inventory and get ready to do some jobs. Oh, like, who did this, man? Whoever did it deserves to be shot. Well, they've probably already been shot. I guess I will put a, just a block like that. And I guess we can fix this up here so that that, Wait a minute, that didn't work. Oh, cause it's not the right material, right? So if I upgraded this to concrete, I think that would look proper. Let's give that a try. Plug that in and oh, now I need the wood. I should have known. Here we go. Okay, so that, yep. If I bring it up to the same material, it will do the, uh, whatever it's called there, do the dynamic thing. Okay, and I think it's probably finally time to get rid of the ambulance. I think we've, uh, it's served a good purpose out here. It saved my life one time. I had to jump on top of it, but it's a bit of an eyesore out here now. Okay, I do have quite a bit of cobblestone. A lot of this stuff is 
technically speaking, flagstones. So I'm just gonna run around here and upgrade that to cobblestone and then to concrete, at least some of it, you know? All right, and with that, I'm all put away, ready to go. We've got ammo, we've got first aid, food, drink. I think we're ready. We can take a vitamin if that will increase my wellness a little bit. Pretty sure the base is good to go now. So let's hop in the chopper and we have a couple of jobs to do today. Let's have a look at the map and see where we're heading. We have airdrop there, not too keen on grabbing that. We do have restore power and tier three infestation right in the middle of Manhattan. And a couple of new treasure maps to the north with a turn in over at Trader Hughes. Let's go try that restore power there and see if that's a daytime thing or a nighttime thing. All right, here we are. It, uh, it is, it is a daytime thing apparently. Just restore the power during the day and it'll be ready to go by tonight. All right, just gonna have the Black Sky pistol out and reloaded just in case. I did put a full auto mod on this, but it's still terrible, really. Whoa, hello. I guess I can work on my pistol skill a little bit. Maybe that'll increase the fire rate. I think that's how it works anyway. Loot bag here. Ah, I'm looking for hazmat fiber, man, or hazmat like clothing parts. I really should not have scrapped all of those early on because now I am nowhere near a full set. Oh, but I did take the science mastery, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? I can just craft those anti-rad pills and we can do a little foray into the wasteland here pretty soon. Got a bird here somewhere. Hello there. Okay, I think we're, we're halfway through. What's the way to get to this side? Oh, over here. Second half. Oh, we got some barrels to play with, <laughs> if I feel so inclined. And do we have... Oh, we do have multiple generators, though. Hold up, hold up. I've missed one over here somewhere. Right there. We gotta turn this on. There we go. On. And the lights work now over here. How about this side? I do hear a dog. Oh, he's over here. Did I not clear this side out like I thought I did? Honestly? Pretty quiet place here. Pretty sure this scout could have done this herself. Oh, it's not very quiet anymore, is it? Oh boy, what do we got here? We have zombies, but I don't know where. Are they? Ah, yes, they're all inside these trailers here. All right, come on out. Oh, crap. Hello, Cole. See if I can reach my spear in there. Whoa. There we go. That worked. Let him blow. Take her out. Witness the destruction. <laughs> nice. Okay, that was area clear. Where's the other generator? Here it is. No problem. Mission complete. Main loot here. It's good for some more cannabis seeds. The game's trying to turn me into a caregiver. All right, all set here. Anything else I need to go through? Probably not, not particularly. Uh, I guess I could take apart a few of these things for the electrical parts. Good enough. Okay, we're on to... I'm gonna go check the reward on this because I want to see how much it increases my reputation. Okay, back to the what scout. Are you looking for? Sometimes I feel like the scout's just giving me busy work. <laughs> you know, no challenge whatsoever. Okay, what I want to look at are my faction points here. Okay, White River Survivors Faction 16 is my reputation. If I turn this in and grab up the meat stew and the, I don't know, the pistol so I can sell it later and then... Let that kind of settle. What are we at now? 17. Okay, so those are entirely not worth my time. I am going to just do Can you help me? these ones. Special infected zombies. Okay, let's do that. It takes a fraction of the time with a fraction of the danger. No loot, but um, whatever, you know. Go into a tier two to do a restore power. I mean, how much good loot are you gonna get out of that? The real good loot is gonna be downtown at this infestation over here. So I will meet you there. Right, this is at, uh, what was this, the creamery or? Yeah, the creamery. All right, bring it down nice and easy out front. We're locked and loaded, let's hit it. All right, what are we in for here? Fire traps, where are the zombies? I've found a couple. Here, let's seal them off here until I know what I'm dealing with. Just two, it appears. That's a demon though. Try to, well, take care of the biker first and then we can focus on this guy. There we go. Okay, what's the deal with the valve thing? Okay, that, just, you trace the valve and I've lost it. Oh, wait, this opened this, I see. Oh, we got more zombies out here, I see. Okay, okay, well, show me what you got. Insta-kill, dog killed, demon dead. One more stripper here. 
wasn't dead after all. She's a demon. Demon stripper. That would be why. There we go. She's got an interesting color palette to her. Demon loot bag here. Nothing. Stingy bastard. Okay, I think we're heading in here to turn off the valve. And there we go. Oh, that's cool. Okay, up we go to the second floor. Okay, just burst out here. Some CQB stuff. Here we go. Man. A lot of these demonic construction guys. They're everywhere. However, they don't stand a chance. At least not in small groups like that. If we got a whole cluster of them at the same time, plus a couple of, you know, rocket launcher zombies, it would be really, really bad. All right, I'm just moving right along here. I'm not really interested in looting up. I mean, what is a creamery gonna have that I particularly need? There might be a good snack in here. <laughs> Never say no to some snacks. Um, rotten chicken soup, though? I'll pass. Oh, several birds here. And whoop, one more. Hold still. What am I rocking right now? I got the regular coil rounds. I'm, yeah, I'm saving the AP rounds for Horde Knight. Seems to be the best way to go about it. At least until I'm out of regular. You know, because I'm just using the regular coil rounds that I've found. Whoop. I'm not gonna, certainly not gonna craft any. I'm crafting ammo. It's AP all the way. Pretty tame place so far, if I had to say so. Demon over there with some spitters. It's okay. Got the drop on them, it looks like. They left me some loot, some chrysanthemums. Yeah, that's good, because I need to make some seeds and start kind of farming that a little bit. We need it for some of the advanced drinks. And final battle. Let's go. Demon Mo. Another, I think, Demon Mo. <laughs> Watch out for the, uh, the loot there. Don't shoot that. Oh, the demonic big mama. She's a big threat, but she's down. What did she leave for me? You got one more here somewhere? Oh, hello. Where'd he go? Don't, don't fall off the building, please. And... All clear. Food pile. More chrysanthemum. Pretty good. All kinds of ammo in there. I'll take it. Main loot chest good for... not much. And finally, a titanium fire axe. Man, we have a lot of stuff to sell now. Alright, we got zombies in the streets. Just... Airborne assault onto him. <laughs> Chop the top of his head off a little bit. Okay, where are we off to next? We could turn that in to trade a wrecked. Probably a good idea, I would say. And then uh, we just got some busy work to do throughout the night, it appears. In fact, you know, instead of doing busy work and accumulating more loot, I'll probably just head home and get the loot that we have ready for selling. All right, a reward from Wrecked. I will take orange tea and chili dog and a new job. Fetching clear at the Birkineer. I haven't been there before, so that'll be fun. And yeah, okay, uh, uh, upon thinking about it, I think that'll do it. I will reserve the, the trip to Trader Hugh until we have some stuff to sell to him which won't be long before that happens. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm sure. So here we go, right. I'm gonna head back to the base. I'm gonna get all of these sellables, basically repair, do all the combination things, get it consolidated and ready for a sell-off. Then I'm gonna give my painters a call, have them come over, paint the base, and I'm gonna head out for a big sell-off. So we'll probably meet back up first thing tomorrow morning. We'll see what the painters did to the base, and we'll see how much money we've made at the traders. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.